questions should you never ask someone with blindness? Uh, we should not just talk about mm, what question we should not ask. I have had experiences like I went to a restaurant. If you are with someone who can see in a public place, be a restaurant or some public office, they, and, and somebody wants to talk to you uh, or ask something about you, they would talk to the other person who's not blind or who's not disabled. Uh, some people have reported that they are in a restaurant uh, with a sighted person. Uh, they would take the sighted person's order and they would ask that person, what about him? So these are some of the assumptions that assumes that blindness or any kind of disability is something that permanently incapacitates you, completely disables you, it makes you incompetent, ignorant, or unable to speak, even uh, that. I, I think the barrier of communication is because of an attitude. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the problem is not really the, the communication. It's the attitude. It, it's the attitude. It's basically the assumption that there is no way to communicate. So let me address what might be a misconception. Someone looking at you in your situation might say, my God, how can he teach an English class? Um, so, so the assumption being that if, if I'm teaching, I am supposed to be able to read. Um, I use a device that converts every text into Braille. Um, and um, whatever I write, um, that can convert into Braille. And I can read it. Uh, that's how I would take attendance. I would read my notes. Uh, the other method is obviously using screen reading software, which is very common now. So your computer reads aloud what you have uh, on the screen. So it will read aloud whatever there is on the screen, and that's how I access the console in the classroom. And I use the, uh, the screen in the classroom so that the students can uh, take notes whatever I write is on the screen and I know what is on the screen because of the screen reading software and students can take notes uh, whatever they see on the screen based on that. When you spoke to my class you talked about uh, why we shouldn't use uh, phrases such as uh, blind to the truth or fell upon deaf ears. What is your definition of the term politically correct for, for justifying the prejudice, yes, yeah. yes, um, th that's that's how it has become. Um, that is a kind of scapegoating of impinging uh, your bias, and th the attack on political correctness has been invented for justifying that that attack. I agree.